Red Man is in the building, one man crew, what's good, what's good? This is me against the devil, baby, yes sir! And I heard a couple of lines that was a little too fucking fast. Alright? I know that's some of the, the new style and shit, but a couple of those lines was too ahead of the beat. Too much. Alright? Check that next time you do another. It's just me against the devil. It's just me against the devil. It's just me against the devil. It's just me against the fucking devil. And a false paradigm and beat is smacking though. You made the beat? Facts. Smacking. One man crew. I like what you're talking about. At least you got substance. You got fucking substance. You ain't just talking about a gang of silly shit. I got good ears, bro. But overall, sounds fucking fire. That's right, the devil is working. You gotta stay away from Satan, boy. The devil is working out there. Don't let the devil get you. One man crew. Sounds fire. Work on that flow. Work on that fucking flow. And I got the number. I'm coming to get some beats, bro. Facts. If I can't make it on my own merits, then I don't want it. Stay away from me, Satan. Straight to hell, you shall plummet. It's just me against the devil. 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 If you truly are the light, I want to stay in the dark because I'll never be your slave. I'd rather swim with the shark. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the One Man Crew Virtual Gimmick Table. Hosted by yours truly, the man, the myth, the legend, the bloodthirsty savage, One Man Crew. Now let's get down to business. First item we have on the table is this lovely One Man Crew Bloodthirsty Savage t-shirt. Go ahead and get a good look at that. That is a one-of-a-kind item that was designed by a legendary Japanese artist named Sei Ozawa. Mr. Ozawa designs t-shirts for all the legendary deathmatch wrestlers that ever went to Japan. He's designed t-shirts with Sabu on them, New Jack on them, every kind of dope-ass wrestler you can think of from the Japanese deathmatch circuit he's designed shirts for, including myself, as I've spent a number of years in Japan. I've never been pinned at Korokan Hall, and I've never submitted at Korokan Hall, and I've wrestled there from 2012 to 2018 at Korokan Hall. So that's a milestone. And Japanese promoters, if you're looking for something for me to bite on, you want to get me beat Korokan Hall, if you got the money, come. 
Anyway, so we got this nice shirt. You can get it at ProWrestlingTees.com slash One Man Crew. And if you do order from ProWrestlingTees.com slash One Man Crew, I will personally donate $5 off each t-shirt sold to St. Jude's Children's Hospital. And these shirts are so awesome. They're so comfortable. I'm wearing one right now. And you can get this t-shirt for various prices in different sizes at ProWrestlingTees.com. Next item. One Man Crew. <clears throat> This is Keepers of the Crypt. This is an underground horrorcore hip hop group, one of the craziest to ever do it, consisting of myself and my homeboy, Capital Z. And this happens to be our compilation album of various songs and mixes of other songs we did and collaborations that we threw together on one compilation. But this happens to be a vinyl record version of it and it's available to you in limited edition. The link will be in the description. Next item, we got One Man Crew Legend of the Earth on vinyl. This right here is my latest album. I've got features from Little White, Bizarra D12, and Seed of Six. I produced this album all by myself. I designed the cover all by myself and everything. That's why they call me the one man crew because I do it all myself. Next item, Keepers of the Crypt Haunted by God vinyl LP. And this is the third album ever made by Keepers of the Crypt. Me and my homeboy, Capital Z. As you can see, we're the executive producers. We got a lot of classic bangers on here. They're all dope. I recommend you check it out, it's good stuff. This happens to be the first ever full-length album that I've ever been involved with. It's in 2005, we released this on CDR. Just burnt CD, regular burnt CD. We burnt a bunch of CDRs, we wrote on them with magic marker, we printed out some little you know, bootleg ass covers, and we slang the hell out of them. And you know what? To this day, this is revered as an underground classic. The few hundred people that actually knew about this back in 2005, to this day, there's still a cult following for this album. It's that dope. This is a One Man Crew Hidden Gems compilation album that I recently put together, released here in 2021 under my production company, One Man Crew Productions. These are all the scrapped, lost, and rare songs that I released as One Man Crew, and I just put them together on this little compilation album. It's also available on vinyl, and you can get it in the description below. Next item, One Man Crew, I Will Never Quit CD. Now this bad boy right here is the one that started it all for me. I've had several albums out since this one and before this one. But this one is the one that I sold 20,000 physical copies of out the trunk all by myself with nobody's help. I just hustled all over the world, literally. I traveled to Mexico, Hawaii, all over the United States, Japan, Thailand, South Korea, Guam, everywhere, selling this album. And this, my friends, is some dope shit. So you should check this one out. It's on iTunes, Spotify. All my albums are on iTunes and Spotify and Apple Music and all that stuff. You can find them all on YouTube. Next item. Keepers of the Crypt, The Devil's Workshop CD. Too many songs to fit on a vinyl LP unless I make a double vinyl. But this one is one of the most hardcore albums I've ever been involved with. We still don't know for sure, but legend has it this dude blew his brains out and this CD was in his truck where he blew his brains out. So the CD was playing in a CD player when he found his body. Anyways, Devil's Workshop by Keepers of the Crypt. Dope shit. Cop this one. Or just listen to it on Spotify, you know what I'm saying? Or iTunes or whatever. Next item, 
I've got that fire EP. I made this EP in 2007 and it only has four songs on it. I've got that fire, my shine before you pass on and been there. This EP was produced by Mike P and Fritz the Cat Vankoski, two of Insane Clown Posse's former producers. And it's amazing to me that all these years later, I worked with those producers who worked with ICP and now I'm producing music for Insane Clown Posse, which by the way, you can get the new EP, Yum Yum's Allure on I don't know if you can get it on CD because I think that was just the Patreon shit, but you can listen to it on Spotify, iTunes, and Google Play, and YouTube, and you can order it off psychopathicmerch.com. But this, my friends, is my first ever official solo EP that I actually released and sold copies of and went and toured and promoted. Now this, my friends, is some of the most hardcore, badass, bloody, Violent Japanese pro wrestling you will ever see. I was in death matches with barbed wire, broken glass fluorescent light tubes, barbed wire baseball bats, ladders, chairs, you name it. You get this? And this, volume two, one man crew versus Japan volume two, and one man crew in Japan versus Japan volume three. You can get all three volumes at it and the links in the description right now i'm told that they're going for 19.99 on the website that i sell these on uh i may do a discount for you if you hit me up directly at my email address one man crew at live.com i can give you a deal on all this merchandise if you want cds vinyls t-shirts dvds anything you want if you want to buy more than one product I can make a deal with you. I can hook you up super fat for a good price. Everybody watching at home, everybody watching, wherever you are, thank you for watching. I appreciate you coming to my virtual gimmick table. And as always, make sure to like and subscribe and check me out on Spotify. Hey guys, Jerry Springer here. And uh, you know, the wrestling guy, one man crew, he is doing some really great work. He is trying to raise money for uh, St. Jude's Children's Hospital by donating $5 off of every one-man crew bloodthirsty savage t-shirt sold. And you can get them at prowrestlingtees.com slash one-man crew. Uh, so consider doing that. You not only get the t-shirt, but you'll be helping out St. Jude's Hospital. So nice going one-man crew. Take care of yourself and each other. Yo, this is New Jack, the original gangster. Y'all check out One Man Crew, Legion of the Earth and Spotify, and iTunes. You got Bizarre from D12, Little White, and Seed of Six. Check that shit out from the bottom to the top. Peace. Oh!